So if I get a big fish, I'm probably screwed right now. And I'm drifting into trees and my rods are up. Oh God, and my seat's not there. <laughs> and my fish is on. Get me out of here. My rods, yo, chill. All right, you guys really aren't even supposed to see this yet. I'm doing a big swim bait collection video. This is sent to me by my good friend Jared down in Austin, Texas, man. He hooked me up with so many swim baits from his collection. Guys, we're going Palomar knot on this beast. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, fish on, fish on. It's, it's floating back to the bank. Can someone go get our boat for us? <laughs> Oh, hit my nuts, why don't you, frog? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Devin and I are out this morning up in Oklahoma, man. We're fishing from Private Elk Ranch with Chef Bad Bass and Fishing the Lone Star. They're gonna be here shortly. So what Devin and I are gonna do is take this time. We got here just after sunrise to uh, go ahead and rig up, set the kayaks up, and then we are gonna get in this place, catch some big fish. This is actually where I caught my PB. 6.65 pounds in the past so maybe we can link up with something big again today we're gonna be throwing some big swim baits we're gonna start off with some top water we're gonna have a lot of fun let's go ahead and get right into it man pumped oh there's some turkeys yeah he took off well we're here a little off-roading to get down to the main spot oh it looks so good all these trees man get ready for a day of kayaking so chef and jeremy are going to be fishing out of a small boat oh my gosh wow, look, at the elk. look at all the elk <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang, what a beautiful spot, you guys. Check this sunrise out. Ooh, lunkers would be having fun. The PB juice box, man. Look at this place. So beautiful. Uh, our fate black rod is like right here where Devin had dropped it from that spider incident. Yeah. <laughs> we are here, baby. Let's get ready to roll. Time to get out the goodies. Put these paddles together, get the boxes in, rods on, load these things up, get in the water. We're starting things off right, y'all. They did a full send kind of backup maneuver here. The boat is, uh, the boat's in the water. <laughs> I wish I got that on camera. We send it, we send it. Like, <laughs> I ain't playing around, like, let's get in the water. <laughs> I just hear the boat detach. Hey, uh, hey, uh, can someone it's, go get It's floating back to the bank. Can someone go get our boat for us? <laughs> oh, God. Look at that. There's no one on that boat. Because when we send it, we send it. Okay, see, elegance. <laughs> swipe it no way they are eating i just lost him that was cool these guys are munching they're in the grass that was my i wasn't recording on that first catch that was my second one but this water is so clear i literally just cast it in there and it was on the fall and i saw that bass come up and just swipe it Fish on. Yep, they are on. Holy moly, this is a good fish. Stay down. Guys, they are on fire. This is literally my third fish. When I landed, the first one I wasn't recording, like a dum dum. First fish in the boat landed on camera. I don't even know. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fish on. Gotcha. Gotcha, not that big. I don't think he's very big at all. I think he's a little dink. They are just slaying. Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead. I gotta get back in there. All right, let's get in here with our first few casts, guys. Done. Frogfish. Yes. Second cast, man. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a good day. Devin's already on on the Texas rig. First, second cast, filthy frog. Peace. Oh, had one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, oh, got him. There we go. Came back. Came back for it. Swim jig. Oh, yeah. Oh, quick release. Okay. One and done, baby. That's how you do it. They are biting today, boys. Oh, my God. Ooh, it's going to be a sleigh fest. Got him. There he goes on the frog. Oh, oh, hit my nuts. Why don't you frog? Okay. I see how it's going to be this morning. That would have been fish number four. Fish number three was off camera just a minute ago. Oh gosh. And this is how you break shit. The bite is on. Let's get right back in the prime zone. Oh, okay. Got him. Two in a row. Oh, and another one came off. It's just, that was just not a good hook set. He actually like came up and ate it and I didn't really set the hook. That was completely my fault. So that was like fish, I don't even know, man. This is gonna be epic. Got him, got him, come on. All the way out here, buddy, let's go. That was way in the back. Biggest fish of the morning. That was way in the back, yep. There we go, that's a two pounder. That's a good one. They are destroying the frog. All right, get back in there. I knew there would one be, I, I said I knew there would one be. I knew there would be one in that back right there. So dope. I bet you there's more too. Let's get them. Come on, make that, oh, same cast, dude. Same cast. He's got, oh, frog time, boys, frog time. Destroying the frog. Okay, this is what's up. Another about two pounder right there. Don't just think it's the spot either, because I come here and had bad days. We've definitely been here quite a few times, but um, when they're on here, they are so on. This is a, a private elk ranch. So Chef Bad Bass is chef at uh, Capitol Grill Plano. I worked valet there. And so one of our regulars actually owns this land and uh, he offers us an opportunity to come fish it. And so, dude, it doesn't get hit very much. And you know that when the bite is on here, it's gonna be a good day. I don't know how many fish that is, but I'm just all about throwing the frog back in here in this uh, little pocket now. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think this has been every cast for like four casts in a row now. Yep, I, I hear you. I want to get you back in the water and get another one too. There we go. Okay. Be free, youngster. Be free. it up. I took a little kayak box that had a little bit of everything and Weston's got the majority of the plastics so so I've got a longer log. This is gonna do damage just as well. These guys are eating. It is absolutely crazy. All right I was able to find some more white bandito bugs. I think they're liking the appendages a lot more than the lunker log. I tossed the lunker log for a few few casts wasn't getting anything. Found these guys tied them back on. Let's see if this doesn't do the trick again. Fish on, fish on. Oh, oh, you gotta get up over that log. Come on, come on, come on. Got, oh, he's stuck on that log. No, come on, there we go. Got him free, got him free. <laughs> this honestly, oh yeah. This is the best one of the day for me so far. Yep, 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 look at that guy. Just absolutely devouring that white bandito bug. I'm, I don't have any more natural bandito bugs. I got white. I'm gonna cast here a few more times. Maybe I'll go over there, I don't know. Oh, I got him. Oh, he came off, I think. Yeah, he came off. 
See, they are taking all of these bandito bugs from me. Oh. Wesson said he's already caught. Only take a second and re rig this up. Um, nothing that crazy yet. We've literally been on the water for 30 minutes. Getting bites, getting bites. Nope. Maybe? No, he's on there. He's on there. He's on there, but. Oh no. No, he's definitely on there. God dang it. I think he's under a piece of wood. Come on, get yourself free. Get yourself free. There you go. There you go. There you go. Well, as I'm telling you about all this, goodness, you took my freaking bandito bug again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't even grab your mouth. Yeah, dang. It's gonna be an expensive day because of you guys munching down on these banditos. What in the world? White color, too. All right, in between fish, guys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. You gotta go under the boat. You gotta go under. I know, you don't wanna. You don't wanna. I don't wanna either. We gotta get you in. So we can get after more. Thanks. All right, that's gotta be like fish number eight. How many fish get caught today? Give this little spot a break. You're tearing them up. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hit frogs in that back pocket. Y'all got four already? Uh, I think like seven on the frog and like, like three came off at the boat. Don't make that eight. First cast in the back zone, boys. Sometimes you just gotta make those moves. Walking the dog, walking the frog. Got him. Oh, make that nine. Fro oh, dude, they're, they're smashing the white frog. I think that's number nine. I might be wrong, but who's counting? See ya. Be another one of those days here, chef. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see if we can't get fixed in position with the handy dandy power pole type of deal. Oops, that's a GoPro. Okay, let's have Adam come to Papa. Oh, oh, oh God, oh damn, he swam after that. Oh wow, unexpected. Uh, swim jig, about two and a half pounder. Jeez, these fish are feisty this morning. Come on in the boat. Another good one. Swim jig. Oh wow, dudes. This now we're now we're getting close to the three pound range. <sighs> okay, see ya. I think that's number 12. Oh, alright. Got a couple with the power pool. Let's go ahead and hit the frog again. Oh god, right when hit the water. Oh god. Alright. Oh wow. Ah, oh, froggy. Woo! That was intense. Gotcha. Alright. Be free, buddy. Oh. Oh, one of the first frog misses in a while. Oh, came back. Okay. Oh, frog fishing is fun, fun, fun. Chartreuse belly. That was the first one I had on. Yeah. Really like yeah. Okay, we move over there. Who knows? Oh man, he had it. He had it and he was swimming with it. Oh my goodness. First cast over here. First cast. Oh, no. Just all sorts of mean. I got gotcha. you. Easy fix. Easy fix. First cast over here. <laughs> Too crazy, guys. Too crazy. Gotcha. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? 
<laughs> Could have been 10. Uh, no way. <laughs> You're a fighter. No, stop throwing more bugs. Stop it. Nope. Chill the heck out. Healthy little fish. They're healthy. Man, it's a numbers game. I'm looking for your big old mama. Your big old mama. Where is she? Go send her a message. Yeah. Hey, I was just seeing how, how it is up there. Uh, it's good. We're wearing them out. Uh, frog and swim jig. Yep, got one. Got one. Yep. Uh, oh, there he goes. Quick release. I, th I think the big ones might be out a little deeper. They're they're here. You know we're gonna get one. It's just it's just time at this spot. Right. Oh, speaking of. Speaking of. I got one. I got one. Got one. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he just came off though. All right, let me let me. All right, I better get back. To, I better get back to fishing too. Okay. Love you. Bye. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. Come on, chunk. Come on. Yeah, come out from under the boat. Oh, you got. Oh, you are pretty. <laughs> These guys, they are spitting these hooks out. Surprised we haven't seen any fry. Whoa! No way! <laughs> Did y'all see that? That dude just came up and straight up annihilated that bandito bug. <laughs> I guess I gotta switch it. They're not about the frog over here. Such a crazy day. I don't know what it is about this like grass right here that looks so perfect, but we've never had a really good bite right here, I don't think. Okay. Ah. Yep. I don't know if I want to throw anything else today, dude. <laughs> this is so sick. I don't I don't hit frog bites that often, you know? I don't like to wake up early. I know, right? So if I get on a frog bite, I'm throwing it. <laughs> They are smashing it. <laughs> Where's a big though? I want a big on this frog. That would be, oh. Oh, just had a fish. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> this swim bait's about to see some abuse today. I'm freaking pumped. Oh. Oh no. Woo, nice chef. Choked it, huh? Dude, I'm getting hits on this swim bait. Oh, n there we go. That's insane. Chef is on. No way. Switching things up. Devin says she's been through a whole pack of bandito bugs. I, I think she's like in the high teens. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. At the boat on the citizen. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And how do I always get so unlucky with how they tear these things up? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Got smoked. I don't want that bait to sit in here too long because I want it to be in good shape. Oh, man. That was insane. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Emerald speckled baby. I cannot wait for the release to get more of these. <laughs> that was the top of the mouth hook set right there. See you, bud. Thank you so much. Let's get some more on the citizen. Gotta twist that back on just a little bit. Oh gosh, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh, double up. <laughs> the boys were both on and then uh, <laughs> Jeremy's came off. Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought that was a hit right there. I guess I was wrong. All right, you guys really aren't even supposed to see this yet. I'm doing a big swim bait collection video. This is sent to me. 
by my good friend Jared down in Austin, Texas, man. He hooked me up with so many swim baits from his collection, and this one is no exception. The Mega Bass Garuda, man. 4.5 ounces. This thing, he said is gonna catch me my PB. I don't know what to do to thank him, but I just wanna at least get this thing thrown in the video. I need to see if it floats. Okay, she floats, I was hoping for that. Four and a half ounces of pure joy. Let's get it out there. So we're going Palomar knot on this beast. I'm trying to cinch that down. Trying to tighten the knot by just pulling the tag end. I've told you guys about this on a lot of my big swim baits. I like to do that. The way the main line doesn't get uh, coiled and frayed up. So you'll see like whenever you cinch down your Palomar knots, usually both sides of the line that are coming through there are getting all burnt up like this. And so I don't want to uh, jeopardize any of the line strength. So by pulling just the tag end, only it is going to be the one getting a little screwball. And uh, you know, if you're if you're throwing a big bait like this, you don't want any weak links. So we're throwing this on 25 pound fluorocarbon, which um, you know a lot of swim bait guys just throw 20 or whatever, but not today. Whoa! Let's check this out. So. This is the Citizen 6 I was just throwing. This is the Mega Bass Garuda. Four and a half ounces, man, the biggest lure you've ever seen me throw on this channel. Let's break this thing out. All right, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is gonna get caught in grass. I'm gonna have to hit some different water. I think we got some grass, boys. Well, this thing looks monstrous. Let's see how this thing looks right here. Holy monster. Fish on, fish on, fish on the mega bass. <laughs> Four and a half ounces, baby. Oh my god. Jared, like second, like third cast on this thing. Dude, if you guys are not following Jared Swafford, you have got to check out his page and drop him a follow. He sent me so many baits that I've been catching monstrous fish. He gave Devin and I our first citizen, and I am just in awe at what is going on today. This is just nuts. Just nuts. I had to get the pliers out. I didn't even want to mess with that by hand. Look at that, dudes. Insane. Huge bait. Biggest bait you've ever seen me throw on the channel. Four and a half ounces. Thank you for playing, bud. Flap, flap, flapperoo. See ya. Oh, you missed it. I had the fish in my hand. I just caught one on the uh, Mega Bass. Oh, no way. <laughs> it was about a like three pounder, and the fish are just spanking stuff at this spot, but I know a big one's gonna hit this thing anytime, dude. Dude, it's so rad. Yeah, you'll pull a big one out of that. I don't wake up early enough for that stuff. But okay, I'll let you go, man. Get back to work or whatever you got going on, and then slay them later. All right, man. I'll see right, you. Bud. Have a good day. You too. Bye. All right, guys. I gotta tell you, the power handle on this Tranks was like built for this lure because you have to freaking crank this thing to get him down and it is like tough bringing this thing through the water if you're using regular gear forget about it like this will snap your rod um if a big bass hits this it could tear up your oh god right at the freaking boat right at the boat could tear up your equipment man you have to use heavy gear if you're throwing something like this this is just this is one of those baits you cannot throw without a dedicated swim bait rod this one we picked up for 40 dollars on facebook marketplace it's a cheap 13 fishing rod eight foot heavy swim bait rod rated from four to eight ounce lures so usually i'm not even using lures that are like heavy enough for this rod technically um so four to eight ounce lures this is 4.5 just the coolest one of the coolest things i've ever thrown and it has so much of a noise factor um like just listen to this thing rattle and in the water it's clanking against its body and just the color is so sick i'll have to link this thing down in the description so you guys can take a look at this and pick one up if you'd like i'm so confident with this despite uh how scared i was at first to even like toss this out at all i mean get you some heavy duty line you know 20 pound 25 pound 30 whatever you want heavy line and what you're going to braid whatever you whatever floats your boat you will literally cast a lure like this off if you're not as not good or your line is not uh, strong enough but the thing is this thing floats so really your biggest issue is making sure you've got strong enough line to get through some cover that a bass might take you down into and snap you off or if the bass is just thrashing and potentially snaps your line as well so always be checking that but with that being said with some heavier gear i feel very confident throwing this thing it literally floats 
so you've got a very slim chance of losing it. Um, Jared told me that you can literally work this thing over cover, like with, with the rod tip up, you could treat it like a wake bait. Just work it slow like this, and big fish will come and smash it. That wasn't the best example of its action, but if it was a little further out, it'd really be uh, darting back and forth. I don't know how deep it dives when I'm really cranking it, but it gets a couple feet, I would say. This, uh, and then also it's got a spot right here under the nose where you can put an extra weight. You can add teardrop weights. I've seen it done in some uh, other video reviews on this thing. And you can, you can actually get this to dive all the way down to the bottom of your ponds and lakes and like bounce off of deflect off rock. Or if you've got hard bottom, I would really be confident in fishing this all the way down at the bottom. So crazy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on. Come on, bud. Yeah. Get him in a fight. <laughs> Get out of that grass. Get in my boat. Gotcha. Gotcha. You can't get away from me. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this boat. You do not take my bandito. Thank you for playing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, he had it for a second. Come on. Come on, uh-uh. Here. Come on. Come on. Oh man. He was good. He was good. Oh my god. That fish just spit that fish out. That is a decomposing, I'm pretty sure bass. I think it's gonna come out on this other side. I'm kinda happy I didn't catch that because I probably would have been a little grossed out. Alright, I got an idea. I like this idea that I have. I think it's a good idea. I have lots of ideas, but this might be the best idea. All right, this was my idea. I was over there and now I'm here. I, I FaceTimed him when I had it on the hook, but he called me back after I put it back in the water. This is an excellent zone for this big swim bait, but the thing is, it keeps picking up some grass. It is diving a little bit, and even when it barely dives and I creep it slow, it's still getting some grass. Here's what I'm gonna do. Switch things up. I'm gonna break out the bigger citizen. This is the green pumpkin color. This is the seven. Much larger profile than the six. Let me even show you. It's crazy, one inch difference, but here's the six. And what's cool about this emerald speckled color is it kind of resembles a crappie, and uh, Chef Bad Bass pulled out a big old crappie a little while ago, but check this out. Look at the difference. One inch, right? So not much longer, but as far as how fat that is, I mean, that's it's a much larger bait. Gonna bring fish in from a little bit further away. A little bit more of a silver flash, I feel like, and brighter color. So uh, let's whip that thing through the grass. This is definitely a more weedless setup. I think we're gonna catch a big one on that green pumpkin. This specific one, I have not ever uh, rigged up yet. Time to make a little move down the bank. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Came out. Don't. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get in this boat. You get in this boat. All right, bud. It's been fun. Thank you, number 13. <laughs> Big old splash, thanks. Gotcha. Alright, been throwing those bigger baits for so long, I just wanted to uh, get a little confidence going again on another bite, so I'm gonna grab the swim jig for a second. As soon as I cast it into that shade, it was a done deal. Had to get something in the boat again. It's been a moment dedicating time to those big swim baits, which I'm gonna keep doing, but let me get a couple more hits on this uh, Grass Hero. 3.3 inch electric shad. I think you can only get this color at the Guggen Warehouse, which by the way, is uh, open again, I believe. I'm pretty sure as of May 1st, it reopened. So if you guys wanted to head over there, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and grab some of this color right here, I got a feeling it's gonna slay. It's almost like a mixture of a bluegill and a shad color. Get a few more in the boat, then grab some uh, larger baits again. Yo, what's happening guys, dude? We are absolutely crushing out here today. I gotta think. <laughs> I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta thank my boy Chef Weston and Devin for, for letting me tag along, man. This is awesome out here. Such a beautiful, beautiful property. But Jeremy with Fishing Lone Star, 
uh, just doing what I can on Instagram. A little bit of YouTube growing, so I appreciate the support there. And also, Anglers for Adoption. I'm about to start promoting it, but would love for your support and helping us raise money for adoptive families. That would be awesome. What's up, y'all? This is Chef Bad Bass. And if you guys want to learn more about cooking and tips on how to fish and catch them Texas tanks, y'all come and check me out. I have a fish underneath you. <laughs> y'all just hit me up in that DM. I'd be more than happy to give you any recipes, tips, tricks when it comes to that cooking. And you guys stay tuned because we're going to be testing those Texas tanks. Sick, man. Check their pages out. We get out fishing with them quite often. I think we're going to just wreak some havoc on a few more lips here. Let's go ahead and hit up this dangerous looking pocket with the swim bait. Crazy little spot. No, nah, I just had to get another fish in the boat. I said I was going to throw the swim jig for a second. <laughs> Doubled up. Okay. That's probably, uh, that's probably 20 something. See you, bud. Oh, God dang. See the reel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Broke me off. Broke me off. Oh. That's what happens when you catch too many on one swim jig. That felt like a good tug right there. Uh, rebate. First swim jig I see is going in the water. I don't care what color it is. Some are not all day, boys. Can't tell me there's not something down here in this. I'm about to get snapped off so fast. Dude, this is where you want to cast, right here. Come on up, kid. Take me into the grass, I dare you. Take me into the grass, I dare you. <laughs> when you just don't care anymore <laughs> you're like i'm good i was hoping you were going to be five <laughs> never mind we're good you can go dude i'm telling you swim jig just drop it down pop it it's it's juice oh come on up boy oh he's a he's a little bigger he's a little bigger come on Come here. I'm not going to work too hard for you now. We're spoiled today. We're very spoiled, I got to tell you. These are the days you savor right here. It's not always like this. Get back in there. I'm trying to catch a five under this tree. Only in Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, they are just stacked on this tree. Golly. I just switched to white. Devin, huge snake on the surface. That is a big boy. I think it is a corn snake. This is where things get dangerous now. In the trees with the rods. Where is the swim jig at? Why is it moving out? What the heck? I guess that tree was just moving. Well, we got our swim jig. I didn't check my line, so if I get a big fish, I'm probably screwed right now. And I'm drifting into trees and my rods are up. Oh God, and my seat's not there. <laughs> and my fish is on. Get me out of here. <laughs> My rods, my rods. <laughs> okay, yo, chill. My freaking rods are in the tree. <laughs> okay, situation handled. Golly. Oh gosh, see you, bud. Thanks for that. <laughs> Dang, he was out there. There we go. There we go. Double up. Big one, maybe. Ah, uh, no. Just kidding. I bet I was. Oh, there we go. That's that's the that's the key. Drop your reel in the water. See you, buds. What a day, man. That's just, he's chasing it. He's chasing it. Oh, first one. First one to chase it. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This... Oh, another chaser. Another chaser. He's under it. He's under it. He's right there in the grass. Just chilling. I'm gonna go a little further out. I just got caught up in that grass so quick. Oh, there's one. There's one. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> on the new swim bait. The pink. Oh, no way. Weston. Trouble hooks do not get me. I will freak. Huge shout out to Jared down in Austin. Once again, 
who gave us these swim baits specifically told me the pink one obviously is for me. We out here doing work, catching fish on new baits. The good old pink bluegill first catch on it. Let's get some more. I have had like two followers on it. Dude, you, you are a skinny little dude. Go get some, go get some food in ya. All right, so I tied this on without even telling you guys about it. This is gonna be the Depths Bulldoze Junior 130. Uh, it's a floating swim bait that has a bill on it and it sinks. This is actually the very first time that I've ever used it. Um, like I said, shout out to Jared down in Austin for giving Weston and I some of these badass baits. I'm so excited about using it in the first couple times I even cast it I had a couple followers and that was the first fish link up on this super killer action going through the water it definitely dives a good amount I'm stationed right here along this grass line to the left and the right of me so I can cast from both directions and just stay right on the outside of that grass line so this thing doesn't go catching a whole bunch of grass I'm kind of dialing it in getting it figured out but first fish super sick let's try and get some more on it before who knows let's change it up just I'm just trying to fish some different things that maybe I don't fish that often and get more comfortable with these bigger swim baits. It's a lot of fun, guys. Oh, I let him come off because I didn't set the hook. Oh, he took my tail. Sweet. My tail's gone, y'all. And with that miss on the swim jig, we are going to go ahead and head back to the truck and try to avoid the trees because... Uh, it doesn't work out well for your rods. We're gonna go ahead and wrap things up and fish another pond on property here for another video We've caught so many fish today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in on this one I appreciate you guys all the new subscribers jumping on this month. It has been crazy Let's keep the train rolling one upload per day guys. I'll see you tomorrow